Were you told you were shy? Do you identify as shy? Do you hate that word now? Do you just wish you could get over it and get on with your life? Welcome to Shining Beyond Shy, empowering you to create a greater life than you ever thought was possible. With your Shining Beyond Shy host, Fiona Cups. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's broadcast. I was going to say performance. Where did that come from? <laughs> Let's go with that as it was in my head. This week's performance of Shining Beyond Shy. So I'm your host, Fiona Cutts, and this week I'm calling this episode Being Space. So what does that mean? <laughs> Good question, Fiona. What does that mean? So... When we're shy, we often function from a space of contraction, and we're often walking around wondering what's this person thinking of us? What's this person thinking about us? What's this situation going to be like? How am I going to be in that situation? And we're figuring it out and we're working it out. And as we figure it out and work it out, we become quite contracted and we kind of lose ourselves a bit in that contraction. And so when I talk about being space, it's the opposite of that contraction and that mental, hey, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's going to go on here, and all of that. And let's just say you don't have to be shy to have that mental contraction going on. And it is something that I see most shy people functioning from. It seems to be part of the territory because when we're shy, it necessarily brings with it that kind of calculation about how we're going to affect other people, how other people are going to affect us, how we are going to try to make it okay with our disability of shyness, that kind of thing. So yes, this idea of being space. So I'm going to illustrate this with something from my life here in Croatia. So it seems that here in Croatia, there are some things that I observed in other countries around here in Albania, it was the strongest. And then in Montenegro, it was the next. And it's always like you go up the coast. So Montenegro is further south and you come into, Mon sorry, Albania is the further south. And then you come into Montenegro and then you come up to Croatia. And some of the tendencies that I found so difficult in Croatia and fairly difficult in, in uh, sorry, in Albania, fairly difficult in Montenegro, I still find here. And one of the things that I really don't enjoy is dealing with officialdom. I mean, I probably don't enjoy that anywhere in the world, but there's a particular thing here in the Balkans. And it seems to be a particular thing with tends to be women, older women who don't speak English and who seem to have forgotten how to smile <laughs> or laugh, let alone laugh. And so, um, a couple of days ago, I had this administrative task, which I needed to do, to do with um, selling my company in Montenegro. So I sold my company a couple of months ago, but there was some remaining paperwork and I needed to, um, to organize something with a notary and the court and then post it. <laughs> so there were three things to do. First thing was that I needed to get the document printed out and um, stamped by the notary. Then I needed to go to the court and get it apostilled. I mean, honestly, I didn't really know what apostilling was until I moved to Croatia. And then I needed to take the whole thing and get it posted, which you might think might be easy. But all three trips I knew had the potential to take a long time and potentially be unpleasant. And I had just been on a call with amazing Dr. Dane here, and he talked about how our reality as the seekers on the planet as the people who generally feel that we don't fit in that well on this planet, our reality is that when we don't contract, when we are space, when we're actually the space of us, it allows the people around us to have their own reality, which maybe isn't as spacious as ours, maybe is completely different for ours. But what happens when we contract is that the other people feel that contraction and have to kind of fight against it a bit. And this is what I've experienced a lot in all these countries. In Albania, it was the most full on. But even here in Croatia, 
sometimes when I have to do these administrative things, I find it quite difficult. And I tend to tense up and I immediately go into the fight mode. And I'm like, well, if you're fighting, I'm here and I'm ready to fight back, you humorless cow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you're an older Croatian woman and you kind of get the energy of someone saying to you, um, you know, not the words, but the energy, you humorless cow. I mean, probably they're going to resist and react to that. So that was what I was creating, these places where some of these people um, were resisting and reacting to me. I was resisting and reacting and I was getting really angry and nothing was moving. Ah. And I mean, you don't have to be in the Balkans to have this, of course, you know, maybe you have your own experience of this. And I certainly have it in other countries too. But it's something that I experience. And I even sometimes experience it in supermarkets with these, it seems to be again, these older women in supermarkets. So who don't have a sense of humor. And so on this particular day, the first place that I went was the notary office. And true to form, the first place I went to, it's like I could see the sign on the door, but I had no idea it was like a residential block of flats. I had no idea to actually find the notary. So I went somewhere else and yes, it was, and you know, lots of things following Google Maps, but finally got there. I mean, I'm in a tiny town, you wouldn't think it'd be so difficult, but I, it seems to be that Google Maps doesn't work very well in this little town that I'm in near Zagreb. And so I got to the place and these women looked really suspicious. What do you need? And um, there's a younger woman who did actually speak good English, but the old woman was quite defensive and she was struggling with English. And then I, I became space and just allowed that. And something changed in both of their worlds. And I mean, the younger woman became incredibly friendly and showed me all kinds of stuff and helped me with stuff. And I needed to go away and get my passport and come back. And it was all very, very easy. And the older woman had less to do with me, but she was also smiling. And when I came back, they were so friendly. And I just said at the end, oh, wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping me. Um, it's sometimes difficult in a foreign country. I just said it. <laughs> and they just laughed and said, no, we're here to help you. And then she showed me where the court building was for the next thing, for the apple stealing. And I, that's right, I arrived at the court building. I walked in, at least what I thought was the court building. Again, Google Maps didn't take me exactly to the building, but it looked like it was a court building. And there was this guy in a uniform and I was like, is this court? And he was like, oh, you know, energetically, like, really, keep away. I don't speak English. I was like, oh, maybe I'm in the wrong place. And so I managed to ask some people and the younger, that's right, in this case, um, the, this young woman was with her dad and her dad spoke German. So we had this conversation kind of in mixture of English and German and actually I speak good German, so it was fine. And I ended back at the same place. <laughs> and I showed this guy my phone and he was like, yes, court building. I was like, oh, okay, thank you very much knock on the door and the, yeah there's this uh, sort of slightly miserable looking older woman Dobre dan, I would say. <laughs> and she looks really 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 annoyed that I don't speak English and she tries to talk louder in Croatian and I'm at the point now where I can understand a fair bit but I really didn't get what she was saying and there seemed to be some problem and so I got out my phone and and you know did some writing down and then she's like ah oh, Ah, yes. But all the time I was really, really, really being space. And I made sure that I didn't react when she was angry that I don't, don't speak English. She was angry. I didn't know what was going on. I just was space. And then I said kind of my few words in, in Croatian and she really liked that. And um, then it was clear that I needed to go to some kiosk and get a I mean, I, I seem to know the word for 50, get a 50 kuna coupon. And in the end, she just went and did it for me. It was very kind of her. She came back and I just put on my phone um, in English for her to read in Croatian. Thank you, full stop. You are so kind. I showed her this and she just melted. She just melted. She looked so happy. And she said to me, I mean, and I got this in Croatian, she said, oh, it's nothing. This is what we're here for. I was like, yeah, but still, thank you. 
and, and it was just like amazing. And one thing that I've noticed with these, and I keep on saying women because it is women, keep on saying it older because they tend to be, is that that kind of judgment and annoyance at me not speaking English, at me not speaking Croatian, is actually kind of an embarrassment and a judgment of them, of themselves for not speaking English. That's actually what I realized at a certain point, but it comes out so forcefully that it's hard to realize that. So let's, and I just realized, I just asked to be aware of that. And what do I mean by I just asked? I just asked the universe, hey, what would it take for me to remember that? Because it seems to be that when someone is kind of aggressive to me, I can still have that autoresponder of being, fuck you, I'm going to be aggressive back. And I can be pretty aggressive at this point, you know, <laughs> trained in the energies of access consciousness. I'm pretty good at doing angry. I'm pretty good at doing fuck you. And it, the situation just um, escalates downwards. So I just asked to remember, oh, often it's about the other person. Often they're not angry with you. They're angry with themselves. What if I can be <laughs> actually the conscious person I'm pretending to be? What if I can actually be allowance and see what that creates? And as I say, with this woman, it created something really magical. So. Turns out that I needed to come back the next morning. So she did the apostilling overnight. She rang me. I showed up the next morning and I like knocked on the door, walked in. I was like, double it down. Big smile from me. Big smile from her. Double it down. How are you? And I don't have to say that in Croatian. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? We both laughed at my Croatian. She gave me the form. And then she saw that I have a tiny bag. And so she gave me a plastic folder to put my form in, which I was very grateful for. <laughs> so I walked away feeling just, and it, it made me so much happier to, to be having these generative, positive, grateful conversations rather than like rah, rah, rah. And you know, the other thing that I can do when I have those rah, 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 angry conversations is like, even though I'm angry, I'm better than you because you're the one who's stuck in this stupid job and being bureaucratic and I don't believe in bureaucracy and I'm better than you. There was that kind of energy there as well. And actually it's not very clever or conscious to be going around reacting to everybody and I'm not saying that to beat myself up but what I am saying is that I'm grateful for when I am choosing to be this space and I'm asking to be that more and more and how does it get better than that so the next stage in the journey was going to the post office and again <laughs> I knew from experience that this could be more complex than you would think. So I didn't, you're supposed to get a little number and I didn't get the little number, but the lady saw me and called me in front of the growing queue, which was very kind of her. And she didn't speak English. And so she took my papers and she started photocopying them. And I was like, no, 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 I, I want to send them to my name. No, no. And again, I was like space because I could feel herself I could feel her going into the wrongness of her. So this time I realized she was in the wrongness of her, but she was also being quite antagonistic to me. And I was like being space, but also laughing. And it's like, oh no, silly me, no silly me that I don't speak Croatian. No, 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 it isn't that I need it photocopied. And then this lady came up who spoke a bit of English and we realized that actually I needed to send it in a big envelope to Montenegro and managed to do that with ease, how does it get better than that? And again, left the post office, everyone smiling, everyone laughing, including me. And it just feels so much better. So let me give you a couple of tools if you are somebody who struggles with this. And we've talked about this on other episodes. So here's the thing that there's a lot of anger everywhere in the world at the moment. People are angry about what's happened to them personally as a result of COVID. And it may be that they've had financial meltdown. It may be that they've lost a job, they've lost their business. And of course, it's very likely for a lot of people that friends and family and dear ones have been lost to COVID or lost to some other illness that the hospitals weren't able to cope with or all of that stuff that we all know is going on. So there's a lot of anger going on. And 
here's the thing we're so psychic we're so aware we pick up that anger we think it's ours and it can be possible for those of us who are on this transformational journey to also go into that blah, blah, blah. so if you're one of them you're not wrong <laughs> i'm not wrong for being one of them when i am one of them but what we can ask for is what space can i be here what space can i be here and just remembering that we when we are the space we give other people the space to be whatever space they are. <laughs> what I really need is $10 for every time I'm saying space, then I'd be a rich girl after this podcast. So, and, and that's interesting, isn't it? When people are quite contracted and they're not actually being much space, the fact that we are being the space of us and we, we may be able to be more space, still gives them the possibility of being whatever space they're able to be or whatever contraction they're functioning from. It just allows them to be that. And then they can just be that. And we don't, they, and they don't have to resist and react and contract. And we don't then have to resist and react and contract. So truly, how does it get better than this? I'm really happy about this. So I hope you're as excited and happy about this new realization. And I say new, I mean, you get it when you get it, no doubt. I've talked about this before and I could have known this before. So I'm not wrong, but only truly getting it now. And maybe there'll be more layers of me getting it, in which case I will talk about it again. So anyway, I hope that this is exciting and useful to you too. And if it is, then, and you know somebody who can benefit from this, then please share it with them. Particularly, please, please, please share this podcast with people who are shy. It's like these tools are just fantastic for people who are shy. They've given me my life back. They've given a whole load of other people their lives back. And what if you know people who these tools can really contribute to? So please share it. Please like it if you like it. Please comment and say how fab it is if you want to give it a review. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'm so grateful for you. It would be great if you could subscribe. Great if you could leave a review wherever you're listening. And if you'd like some quick, simple tips to overcome shyness wherever you are, please go to my website, fionacuts.com, where you can download my free product, Five Steps to Overcoming Shyness Wherever You Are. Thank you again, and see you next time.